One way to keep same-sex marriage illegal may be to paint its impact on those who oppose it as dark and scary. That's the latest tactic from the National Organization for Marriage, which just released this $1.5 million ad campaign. There's a storm gathering. The clouds are dark and the winds are strong. Do you acknowledge that the ad is, is dark and scary and paints this picture of this gathering storm? Well, I think there is a gathering storm. Unless we act to protect marriage, we're going to see more and more moves to overturn uh, the, the will of the people. There are some new poll numbers just released this hour. One of the largest and most detailed surveys of American attitudes towards gay rights. Now, one of the findings, the majority of Americans, 56%, now say the ban on openly gay men and women in the military should be repealed. Joining me from Washington, D.C. is Peter Brown, Assistant Director for Quinnipiac University Polling Institute. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Cameron. So before we get into some more of these uh, numbers here, Peter, let's talk about the setup. This is uh, the most extensive uh, research done in a long time, right? It is. We think it's one of the most extensive ever done. Did over 2,000 interviews, which is double the size of most national polls. We asked about a variety of gay rights questions. As you, as you headlined, yes, Americans think that, that openly gay people should be able to serve in the military. That's obviously a change from 15 years ago when it was a big issue when President Clinton wanted, wanted to do that. Let's but there are, other, there are some other very interesting things. Mm -hmm. One of the things we found is that someone's attitudes on gay rights is closely linked to the question of whether they think gay people are born gay or that it is an individual choice. If people are born gay, they are much more likely to support gay rights over a complete spectrum of issues than if they don't. Sixty percent of people who think people are born, born gay favor gay marriage, while only 15 percent of those who think that people who are homosexual make that choice think gay marriage should be legal. What um, are the views from the polling that you've seen from Americans on same-sex marriage? Evan Wolfson, an advocate for same-sex marriage, calls the ad an assault on gay people that undermines civil rights. Everything in these ads is phony, from the scary zombie special effects, to the actors reading the lines, to the arguments they're making to try to scare people into thinking that allowing gay people to marry is somehow a threat to everyone else. But we have hope. The ad was supposed to be released late spring. But recent decisions by Vermont and Iowa to legalize same-sex marriage prompted the group to act now. Connecticut and Massachusetts already allow it. Protections under the law. But Vermont is the first state whose legislature approved same-sex marriage and not a court. In fact, legislators overrode the governor's veto. You have voted to override the veto. The House will come to order. The people don't want this. This is being forced by uh, both the courts and by out-of-touch uh, legislators. Brown wants to create an army of marriage activists in every state to put a stop to whatever momentum gay couples are gaining. In California, there's the petition to overturn the ban on same-sex marriage. Governors in both New York and New Jersey say they'll sign same-sex marriage bills. Maine later this month will hold hearings on the issue. New Hampshire's House of Representatives has approved it. Even the District of Columbia is moving towards recognizing same-sex marriages performed elsewhere. When gay people marry, they don't use up the marriage licenses. And the idea that somehow treating gay people as equal under the civil rights laws of this country is a threat to other people is as bogus as it was when they made this claim in other civil rights chapters in American history. Well, Florida victories in the face of constitutional bans on same-sex marriage in at least 26 states. The question is, is the tide turning? Joining us now, senior legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin. Um, how significant was this, this, this legislature move in, in Vermont? It's very significant because it's the first time the people's representatives voted for uh, gay marriage. In the three other states, it was courts that imposed, uh, th that said, gay people had the right to marry. And the argument against that was, you know, you have elite, out-of-touch judges. Activists, liberal act judges. Activists, liberal judges. Even though a lot of them have been actually appointed by, by conservatives. Th that's right, but, but they were still judges. They, they weren't directly responsive to the will of the people. Vermont is different. Vermont is uh, a, a state where the people's representatives voted for it. And if you look at the states that are likely to pass gay marriage next, it's likely to come from the legislature as well. New Jersey, Maine, maybe New York, although probably not immediately. These are states where the legislature, it appears, is ready to say 
gay marriage is legal. Uh, we got a text question. Uh, this is from uh, uh, Naisha in Texas. She asked, will this law ever be in jeopardy of being annulled like in California? Uh, she's talking about in Vermont. Um, probably not. Uh, it's interesting. I I Iowa has a, v where, where uh, there has been some talk about overruling same-sex marriage. The, uh, it's almost impossible to do. The legislature has to act two years in a row, and the legislature, which is controlled by Democrats who support same-sex marriage, they have said they're not voting for it. So it, it's pretty bulletproof in both Vermont and uh, Iowa. And the legislature, which is controlled by Democrats who support same-sex marriage, they have said they're not voting for it. So it, it's pretty bulletproof. In it is obviously important to all of us that homosexual marriage does not become the law of the land. Let me tell you that for every logical argument we can bring to show that it's a very bad idea, the other side, spreading the stain of secular socialism, will bring three better arguments that it's a very good idea, and then it's simply our argument against theirs. It turns out that you have to go into rehab if you use the word faggot. So, 